the brainwashing manual. Synthesis of the Russian Textbook on Psychopolitics. By L. Ron Hubbard. Psychopolitics the Art and. Science of Asserting and Maintaining Dominion over the Thoughts and. Loyalties of Individuals, Officers, Bureaus, and Masses, and the Effecting of the Conquest of Enemy. Nations through Mental Healing. Editorial Note. This book is a synthesis of information gathered through observation, discussion, investigation and experience over the last 10 years. I cannot entirely vouch for its authenticity. Disclosure of the sources from which it is drawn would undoubtedly lead to great difficulties for them. And in matters of this kind, the Soviet is not accustomed to the issuance of validations. Having compiled this volume I did not easily discover any method of distributing it since. My own facilities and finances are, as is customary with professors, necessarily limited. Further, the placement of this volume in anyone's hands constituted to some degree a considerable risk to myself until I realized that there actually were two American groups in the field of mental science who were entirely above suspicion particularly since they were often mentioned as Soviet targets by my informers and were mentioned in the actual text of this book as being antipathetic to this Soviet program. These two groups were the Christian scientists and the Dianeticists. Christian science is an American religion, intensely patriotic. Dianetics is the only entirely American development in the field of the human mind. Knowing from my information sources that Dianetics and Christian Science and their people have experienced years of mauling and defamation at communist hands, I am submitting to these organizations this work. I wish to express here my appreciation for their bold resistance to communism through the years. I wish also to express my confidence in the future of the free nations of Earth. Although the Soviet has found a chink in the armor of individual liberty, it is certain that democratic processes can mend it. That only the individual himself can protest against assault and injury to him before law, joined with the fact that the insane have no rights. Before law, has permitted in itself this deep ingress into our country's security. So long as this legal hole exists. There is then no law against driving anyone insane, even though this action deals as finally with a person as does murder. The existence today of highly efficient drugs such as LSD, one a millionth of an ounce of which can create insanity, brings this legal loophole into focus. By enacting legislation permitting a friend or next of kin to bring charges in case of assault, and by quickly placing all treatment event institutions for the insane in the hands of ministers, taking it entirely out of the hands of European indoctrinated practitioners, the entire effort of psychopolitics can be nullified at once. If you care to check this subject of psychopolitics against current occurrences in the American scene you will discover the urgency of such measures. Charles Stickley. New York City, 1955. The Brainwashing Manual. An address by Beria. American students at the Lenin University, I welcome your attendance at these classes on psychopolitics. Psychopolitics is an important if less known division of geopolitics. It is less known because it must necessarily deal with highly educated personnel, the very top strata of mental healing. By psychopolitics our chief goals are effectively carried forward. To produce a maximum of chaos in the culture of the enemy is our first most important step. Our fruits are, grow, in chaos, distrust, economic depression and scientific turmoil. At least a weary populace can seek peace only in our offered communist state, at last only communism can resolve the problems of the masses. A psychopolitician must work hard to produce the maximum chaos in the fields of mental healing. He must recruit and use all the agencies and facilities of mental healing. 
he must labor to increase the personnel and facilities of mental healing until, at last the entire field of mental science is entirely dominated by communist principles and desires. To achieve these goals the psychopolitician must crush every homegrown variety of mental healing in America. Actual teachings of Freud, James, Eddy and others amongst your misguided peoples must be swept away. They must be discredited, defamed, arrested, stamped upon even by their own government until there is no credit in them and only communist-oriented healing remains. You must work until every teacher of psychology unknowingly or knowingly teaches only communist doctrine under the guise of psychology. You must labor until every doctor and psychiatrist is either a psychopolitician or an unwitting assistant to our aims. You must labor until we have dominion over the minds and bodies of every important person in your nation. You must achieve such disrepute for the state of insanity and such authority over its pronouncement that not one statesman so labeled could again be given credence by his people. You must work until suicide arising from mental imbalances common and calls forth no general investigation or remark. With the institutions for the insane you have in your country prisons which can hold a million persons and can hold them without civil rights or any hope of freedom. And upon these people can be practiced shock and surgery so that never again will they draw a sane breath. You must make these treatments common and accepted. And you must sweep aside any treatment or any group of persons seeking to treat by effective means. You must dominate as respected men the fields of psychiatry and psychology. You must dominate the hospitals and universities. You must carry forward the myth that only a European doctor is competent in the field of insanity and thus excuse amongst you the high incidence of foreign birth and training. If and when we seize Vienna you shall have then a common ground of meeting and can come and take your instructions as worshippers of Freud along with other psychiatrists. Psychopolitics is a solemn charge. With it you can erase our enemies as insects. You can cripple the efficiency of leaders by striking insanity into their families through the use of drugs. You can wipe them away with testimony as to their insanity by our technologies. You can even bring about insanity itself when they seem to resist if you can change their loyalties by psychopolitics. Given a short time with a psychopolitician you can alter forever the loyalty of a soldier in our hands or a statesman or a leader in his own country, or you can destroy his mind. However you labor under certain dangers. It may happen that remedies for our treatments may be discovered. It may occur that a public hue and cry may arise against mental healing. It may thus occur that all mental healing might be placed in the hands of ministers and be taken out of the hands of our psychologists and psychiatrists. But the capitalistic thirst for control, capitalistic inhumanity and a general public terror of insanity can be brought to guard against these things. But should they occur, should independent researchers actually discover means to undo psychopolitical procedures, you must not rest, you must not eat or sleep, you must not stint one tiniest bit of available money to campaign against it, discredit it strike it down and render it void? For by an effective means all our actions and researches could be undone. In a capitalistic state you are aided on all sides by the corruption of the philosophy of man and the times. You will discover that everything will aid you in your campaign to seize, control and use all mental healing to spread our doctrine and rid us of our enemies within their own borders. Use the courts use the judges, use the constitution of the country, use its medical societies and its laws to further our ends. Do not stint in your labor in this direction. And when you have succeeded you will discover that you can now effect your own legislation. At will and you can, by careful organization of healing societies, by constant campaign 
about the terrors of society, by, pretense, as to your effectiveness make your capitalist, himself, by his own appropriations, finance a large portion of the quiet communist, conquest of the nation, by psychopolitics create chaos, leave a nation leaderless, kill our enemies, and bring to, earth, through communism, the greatest peace man has ever known. Thank you.